okay good evening to all okay today we will discuss about the unit 4 essay expectation questions okay in the unit 4 okay there are uh, six expectation questions are there totally six questions are there out of this six question one questions uh, may be expect uh, from your final exam probably uh, that you need four question is the second question so normally first question is from the unit two okay that is uh, that is photo respiration otherwise uh, they will put the photo reaction something whatever one question come from the photosynthesis part and second question probably from the uh, unit four okay there are sir six uh, expectation part from the unit four in the essay view oh uh, the first one uh, the first thing is the stomata okay stomata structure okay stomata stomata structure and that process k plus influx hypothesis hypothesis for the stomata opening process and also factors influencing the stomatical activities factor influence the stomatal activity okay this is the expectation this is the first choice high percentage of chance uh, for this question in the final examination Okay, last time also uh, I was give the expectation question from the unit four. Oh, uh, that time, uh, 2022. Uh, first question is a uh, growth regulators or so plant hormone. That is uh, my first expectation last year. And uh, cycles as well. Uh, there are uh, some um, arrangement. And finally, uh, I will give the question seminal growth. Okay. So, but uh, the six ex uh, expect six choice was come in the last examination. Okay, so whatever. Okay, you will uh, study the this six a six. Okay, so you will more concentrate on the stomata a uh, six stomata and uh, stomata closing opening process and what are the factor influence the stomatal activity. Today we will see the scheme of this a six. And second essay is a, okay, that is a one of one of the past paper uh, essay. Uh, in our final exam, uh, there's a six essay question. Out of this six essay question, two essays are the past paper and four essays are the new question. More commonly, environmental biology and microbiology and applied biology. So that part uh, probably in the new questions. Not only past paper, uh, they put the question in the as a new questions. Okay, but uh, probably in the unit five, unit four, unit two, maybe chances uh, from the past paper, whatever two questions uh, come from the past paper. Okay, so our first question also past paper, only photo respiration also. Photo respiration also come in the past paper. So first question also past paper and sometimes. Maybe second question also past paper. Otherwise, first uh, second question maybe as a new question. The uh, cycles life cycle. So plus the B part is the uh, importance or not the importance characteristics of the seed plants. Okay, maybe. Okay, so that type question maybe come. So whatever we will ready all the things. So in the our second choice is radial transport in plants. Okay, so second part is the okay radial radial transport in the plants. Okay, today we will see the this essay also. Uh, how to radial transport occur in the plant? Okay, so we will see. So in the okay that second choice B part is the of what movement of the water? Of what movement of the water? Of the water in a plant. 
Okay, so that also one of the past paper, no? So uh, that upward movement of the water, uh, upward movement of the water and mineral in the plant also in the past paper, but maybe can't. So this is a my second, <coughs> sorry, that is a my second text. And third essay is uh, uh, explain the process of the stomatal transpiration. So I think stomatal transpiration last 2016, I think, uh, 2016 final essay paper, they, they will put the, that question, okay, uh, stomatal transpiration. So again, after the seven years, maybe come, okay, stomatal transpiration, okay, stomatal transpiration. In the unit four, most of the questions are the past paper. Uh, some things are the need. And uh, explain the factor, uh, factors are influencing the variable, influencing the raspberry pain. So what are the factors? What are the factors influence the, influence the transpiration rate? Transpiration rate. Okay, this is the third choice. Okay, tomorrow I will send the uh, next to you. That's the fourth choice. Okay, life cycle of life cycle of cycles or saladinella. So saladinella. Okay, to, uh, we will see both. Okay, <coughs> sometimes they will put the question uh, from the cycles life cycle and same. Uh, sometimes they will put the question in the saladinella life cycle. So whatever, okay, they will put the question as the cycle's life cycle. Maybe the B part is the characteristics or significant characteristics of the seed plants. So in the in the unit three, that is a unit three essay. Or oh, we will know no uh, that seed plants have uh, significant characteristics. Five types of characteristics are there no. So we will elaborate those things. And sometimes they will put the selaginella, okay? They will put the question in the unit three, okay? What are the common, uh, what are the uh, significant characteristics of the vascular seedless plant? Okay, maybe uh, that question, that combination may be cut. Okay, so mark it and work it for this question. Mm -hmm. So selaginella may or cycus. Because uh, they will put the question in Boganator, Nebrolabies. Okay, so not put in the uh, cycles. That's a new question, maybe the chance, high percentage chance. Okay, uh, they will put the question from the past paper, they will put the stomatal activity. So, whatever other questions are, the, most of the part is a past paper, but cycles, not a past paper. So, maybe chances to come as a new question. Okay, you will ready for the all the things. Uh, that is uh, my fourth expectation. And fifth expect, ex expectation is the plant growth regulators. Okay, plant growth regulators. Regulators, otherwise plant hormones. Otherwise plant hormones. Okay, function. Function of the plant growth regulators and a uh, plant or plant hormone in the uh, plant growth and development. What are the functions? Okay, maybe this question may be expect in the past paper. That also one of the past paper question, but in the unit four, okay, after the two th after the 2000, okay, they are this question, okay, in three times, three times in the past paper. Okay, this is the most coming part. Okay, in the past paper. Okay, so you will concentrate on those things. Okay, because this essay last uh, come 2015. So before before 2015, they will put two times. Okay, maybe again they will put the 2023. Last time uh, my final expectation paper. Okay, I, I will put the I was put the uh, expectation. In the unit four, the first expectation is the this that one. Okay, plant growth regulators, because that that of the 
that's a, one of the firmest question, but not come after the 2015. Okay, so I think it may be chance in the 2022. Okay, but uh, not come, the seminal growth is come. That is a sixth choice. Okay, maybe you will expect. Okay, but you will ready for the those things. That is a small essay, you know. So in our resource book, uh, there's a, one of the chart, oxine, gibberellin, cytokinin, abscessic acids, ethylene, the, some growth regulators are there and uh, their function uh, should be there. So only we will write the, those things only now. Okay, we will get the, all the marks from that part. Okay, so the, uh, this is the fifth expectation question. Okay, so sixth one. Okay, so this one loading. Okay, not decided until now. Okay, I will uh, send the six, uh, unit two also, six question, I will not tell, no. So we will decide the six question. Okay, after the final model paper of uh, Perma schools, and our education department also, they will put the, uh, they will play, uh, release the one of the paper. Okay, so maybe that time we will decide the six. Okay, sometime maybe that type of question maybe come. So stresses the last part of the unit four, maybe uh, they will put the question, I think 2020. Yeah, 2020, biological stresses, something. Okay, so maybe the last part of the unit four may be cut. Okay, so this is the thing. Okay, this is expectation. Okay, so we will uh, discuss of each essay. Okay, out of these six essays, surely one essay, okay, come in your final examination. Okay, so we will move on our first essay. The first essay part is the briefly outline of the structure of the stomata. Okay, structure, structure of stomata. Okay, structure of the stomata. So they will expect surely the picture of the stomata. Okay, they will expect the pictures. Okay, so normally we know the structure. Okay, this is a heart cell. Okay, heart cell. Okay, so out of that, uh, out of the heart cell, they have the uh, epidermis cells, no? So that have the epidermis cells. Okay, a lot of epidermis cells around the, uh, around the guard cell. Okay, then that is, okay, that is a stomata. Okay, so you will draw the picture and uh, label all the things. Okay, now final examination, uh, they will allocate the marks for the fixtures. Uh, they will allocate the marks, uh, six marks uh, is the picture and labeling for six marks. Totally, they will give the 12 marks for the picture. Okay, that's a common thing, but uh, don't take too much time for the rowing because the first part is okay. Uh, timing time management is okay there there are 50 mcq okay already we will uh, we will finish before one and a half hour okay whatever is your tough or we will finish one and a half hour time is not a problem in a part one okay so big impact in the time is part two paper because they will give the uh, only three hours time and uh, more uh, than plus 10 minutes for reading, no? So we have the time, three hours and 10 minutes. Okay, there are so four structures are there. Each structure minimum have 12 structures, short structure and maximum 13 structures are there of each structures. So the common model, the common model is 12, 13, 12, 13. Okay, 50 short structures are there. Okay, so we will finish that structure. Okay, before 30 minutes or 40 minutes. Because the main problem is essay. Okay, so in the essay part, we will write the four essays out of the six essays. Okay, we will write the four essays. Okay, each essay have the A, B part. So there's a 
eight parts will write the final examination. So that time, two hours is not enough to write it. Okay, so you will concentrate on those things. Uh, you will finish on uh, earlier in the structure part before 40 minutes. We have the 10 minutes to, uh, for readings now. So use that uh, 10 minutes and uh, take uh, 30 minutes uh, plus 40. Uh, that you will use that 40 minutes to uh, finish the structure part and use the two and a half hour for the uh, essay part. Okay, that is a better time management for your examination. Okay, this is my idea. Okay, so first you will write the structure. Okay, some students, uh, sometimes uh, they will put, uh, they will first write on essay after the last time they will come in the uh, structure part. So that time very nervous for the timing. Okay, so you will, okay, first write structure. Okay, so what are the things you know? Write the structure first. Okay, so if you if you know if we don't know the answer, okay, please leave it. And what are the uh, what do you think? Okay, what are the things you have? You will write the uh, in the structure. Okay, after that, finish the essay quickly. Okay, because timing is a very very much a problem in the. Uh, final examination the part two. Okay, you will concentrate on those things. Okay, so in this essay, okay, they will expect the fixtures. So, guard cell and stomata and epidermis uh, and uh, mark the all the cell wall. Normally, we know the cell wall structures, no? So, in the uh, guard cell, this is a okay, somewhat thicker, you know, some, somewhat thicker cell walls in the inner cell wall. And outer cell wall somewhat small. No? More elastic and very thin. Okay, so inner wall is a because uh, inner wall is a somewhat thick one. No? So and it's have the some cellulose uh, cellulose layers, the radial cellulose layers. Okay, mark the all the things. Okay, they will expect. Okay, uh, they will expect the uh, not a uh, fully full structure. Okay, so you you take uh, maximum three minutes. Okay, row the sketch and quickly row and labeling and uh, quickly go to the essay. Okay, don't take the too much time for the rowing. Okay, because timing is problem. Okay, so next we will discuss about that uh, scheme of the structure of the tomato. So in the stomata structure, okay, first we will mention, so what is the, what is the stomata? What is the definition of the stomata? Okay, so that's the uh, main part. So in this essay, the first content is the definition. So what's the definition of stomata? Stomata force surrounded by the heart cell, okay, in the epidemics. So no, we know the uh, epidemics, no? So that is a, one of the, Epidemic cells, guard cell. Okay, so epidemic cell of the leaves and uh, stems of the plants, which have open and close. So that stomata not only present in the leaf, okay, they also present in the stem also. Okay, uh, after the seminal growth, okay, uh, that another, wait a minute, outside some sound, wait a minute. Okay, sorry. So outside some sounds. Okay, so you will concentrate on those things. Okay, not only leaves have the uh, stomata, also some primary growth stems also stomata have. So in the first part is the definition of the stomata for surrounded by the heart cell in the epidemics in the leaves and stems of the plants which have uh, which can open and close. Okay, this is the first thing. And second one normally. Uh, we know that is uh, one of the uh, epidermis cell, no? That is an epidermis cell. Okay, normally epidem epidermis cell not containing the chloroplast, but only one, okay, epidermis type cell uh, containing the uh, chloroplast. That is 
that card set. Okay, it's have a lot of chloroplast are there. Okay, it's have the lot of chloroplast. Okay, so it's have the specific reason. Okay, we will see. So have a lot of okay, it's have the lot of uh things. Okay, so second one we will mention those things. Okay, so second. Okay, we will mention about the chloroplast. Chloroplast. Okay, so guard cell modified an epidermis cell which have the distinct shape. Okay, and our only epidermis containing the chloroplast. Okay, we will mention about the heart heart cell. Heart cell modified that is a modified epidermis, no epidermis cell which have the distinct shape and our only epidermis that containing the chloroplast. And uh, the shape of, okay, we will know the shape of the heart shape. Okay. So, uh, we will know the shape of the heart cell. Normally, heart shell, uh, typically the bean shape, no? So, that's a bean shape. Okay. So, that's a bean shape type cell in the NDS one. Okay, so why specifically they will mention in the angus sperm? Okay, so other phylum also have the uh, that stomata. Yeah, even bryobita also have no in the evaluation order. Okay, the initial part the bryobita also create the stomata, but not in the bean shape. Okay, there there are somewhat other shapes. Okay, the bean shape. Uh, okay, that bean shape that card cell uh, that is having angus sperm only. Okay, in this essay we will mention, okay, those things. Okay, heart cell typically being shaped in angus sperm. Okay, is it okay? And the uh, next is the, we will mention about the uh, cell wall thickness. Cell wall, cell wall thickness. We will know the cell wall thickness of the uh, that guard cell, no? So normally the inner wall uh, somewhat thick, thicker than outer one. Okay, normally outer one is a small thing. Okay, but elastic, elasticity is a very high so outer one. Okay, so inner one is a, okay, uh, somewhat low elastic, but that is very thicker. Okay, so this, uh, okay, uneven, uh, uneven placement of that cellulose Okay, so very important in the stomata opening closing process. Okay, we will see. Okay, the the heart cell wall are unevenly thickened. Okay, so because the inner part is a higher, okay, over thickness and outer part is a small thing. Okay, some of the cellulose of the micro fibers, fibrils, uh, sorry, what, what that thing, uh, the inner cellulose wall is thicker and less elastic. Okay, so inner wall is the, well, somewhat thicker than outer side, but in, okay, elastic amount is very low. Okay, less elastic than the outer wall. Normally, outer wall have the high elasticity. Okay, but their thickness is small. And uh, they will mention about the, that, uh, this part, that radial fibers. Okay, cellulose radially fibers. So we will mention uh, the next things is uh, that. Okay, so next thing is a uh, fibers that cellulose fibers. Cellulose fibers. Okay, in the cellulose fibers, some uh, some of the cellulose microfibrils are radially arranged to okay form the inelastic cups around the heart cell. Okay, so this is the shape. So finally, okay, we will mention, okay, about the opening and uh, closing of the stomata. Okay, opening and uh, closing of the stomata. So heart cell regulate the diameter, no? Normally that, uh, okay, wait a minute. Okay, sorry. Okay, so finally we will mention about the uh, function of the heart cell. 
So hard cell regulate the diameter of the stomata. Okay, changing the shape, whitening, and whitening or narrowing. Sometimes a whitening, sometimes narrowing. Okay, they get between the pairs of the hard cell. Okay, these are the this is a scheme for the briefly outline of the structure of the stomata. Maybe maybe the charms. Okay, that is a must. Uh, that that's a my first choice. Okay. So maybe expect in the 2023. So you will work on it. Okay, you will concentrate on the picture of the stomata sometime. Okay, so you will uh, draw the pictures in like a, a resource book. Okay, so that is an important thing. Okay, so don't take the too much time. Okay, uh, they will scheme the seven points only. That is a small essay. Okay. So if they are put the stomata structure, the B part is surely that is a opening and closing mechanism of the stomata. Okay, so that is the thing. Okay, first we will understand what are the thing in the that K plus influx hypothesis. Okay, so next we will see about that S. Okay, normally that K plus influx hypothesis, okay, Normally in the daytime. Okay, we will know the structure. Okay, so this is the structure of heart cell. That, that is a stomata. No? So in the daytime, okay. So in the daytime, okay, accumulate the K plus. Okay, accumulate the K plus actively the heart cell. Okay, so accumulation of the K plus. Okay, uh, use of the ATP and accumulate the K plus from the outer epidemics. Okay, from the uh, from uh, that epidemics from okay this inner part. Okay, so the that is the first thing. Okay, the first thing is the K plus accumulation. K plus accumulation in the heart cell. Okay, we will know the formula between the psi s and psi. Okay, so normally we know, okay, that K plus is a one of the solute. Okay, so that is increase the psi s, no? That is increase the psi s of the solution. Okay, so increase the psi s, uh, that is decrease the, that is decrease the water potential. Okay, that is decrease the water potential. Okay, so that is sorry, that is decrease the water potential. Okay, we are uh, the outside the outside uh, water potential is high, the inner water potential is low. So how okay? So from the water potential theory, the water move okay move from the higher water potential to okay low water potential. So in this case. Okay, the outer, uh, that outer epidermis cell, okay, so that outer epidermis cell have the low, sorry, not a low, uh, high water potential, here low water potential. So for that, okay, osmosis occur, okay, the water move through the, move from epidermis to, epidermis to heart cell. Okay, we will know the uh, things. Okay, the water is moved through the osmosis into the heart cell. Okay, automatically turgor pressure of the stomata is higher, no? So that will increase the uh, psi P. Okay, that increase the psi P and they will, okay, uh, as a result, turgor pressure in the heart cell increased, uh, increasing. Okay, so that will cause the opening of the stomata. Okay. So clearly you will know the process. The first thing, okay, mark it in the daytime. Okay, K plus accumulation into the heart cell. Okay, K plus accumulation is the first process. Okay, according to the K plus accumulation, psi S of the heart cell is increasing. Okay, and third one, uh, sorry, psi, not a psi, psi B, psi is reducing. Okay, water potential is reducing. Okay, so the outer part of the epidermis, okay, the outer side at the epidermis, water potential is high, and uh, the inner part, heart cell, 
uh, water potential is low. So our theory of water potential, the water movement through the high water potential area to low water potential area. So that's why uh, water move from the epidermis, epidermis to uh, hard shell. Okay. So according to that, uh, that will increase the turgor pressure. So that will open the stomata. Okay, that is the stomata opening process. Okay, you will know first, you will understand those things. Okay, so it's help to write the essay in the final exam. Sometime they will put the structure, whatever. Okay, you will know the process of that stomata opening. Okay, so this is occur in the daytime. Okay, and the night time. Okay, then the night time. Okay, in the K plus. Okay. So K plus is removed from the card cell. K plus removed from the card cell. Okay, the, uh, this is a not active process. Okay, accumulation of the K plus is an active process, but this is a not active process. Okay, so that is not about the ATP. Okay, so uh, that time K plus is removed from the card cell. Okay, so that cause uh, that cause psi S is reducing. Psi is redu reducing because the solute okay remove from the card cell, so that's why okay psi S is reducing. So according to that, psi is reducing, psi is increasing. Again, okay, then epidermis cell, no? So then epidermis cell. So so here that card cell have the high water potential and epidermis have low water potential. So we are. Uh, that exosmosis is occurred, no? So the water is removed from the campaign, uh, removed from the that card cell. Okay, so that is reduce the turgor pressure that is close the stomata. Okay, that's the thing. Okay, so you will know the pressure, uh, you will know the procedure of the stomata opening and close. Okay, I will take two minutes or three minutes take. Anyone can write. One student can write in the daytime. What are the things occur? Maybe one student. Can you write? In the daytime, anyone? Yeah. Anyone? Fatima Hamda. Anyone? Whatever. What are the things occur in the daytime or otherwise opening of the stomata? Okay, anyone? Jastra? Tavaskari? Anyone? K plus yeah. accumulation. Okay, so tell the order of opening of the stomata. Anyone? Nisha? Okay. Okay, so you will know the process. Okay, that is an important essay in our final examination. You will ready for the, those things. Okay, so this is a, our first uh, one more essay, you know. So finally, the C part may be also related to the that uh, stomata opening and closing process. List the factor that influence the stomatal activity. Normally, stomatal activity influencing factors, there's a four, five thing or four thing, you no. Know? So factors influence the Stomatal activity. Stomatal activity. Okay, so this is the third thing. Normally, we know the process in the daytime. Okay, so in the daytime, normally uh, stomata is opening. Okay, and uh, the nighttime stomata is closed. Okay, that is a common procedure. But we will know, uh, we will already study now. We also already study now that in the photorespiration part, uh, even, okay, in the high light intensity, uh, high stress condition, stomata is closing the daytime. Okay, that's a common thing is in the daytime, uh, stomata is opening and uh, nighttime, stomata is closing. Okay, that's a common formula. So the stomata open during the day and uh, mostly closed uh, at the night. 
So normally the common uh, thing is light stimulate the accumulation of the K plus in heart cell. So that is uh, in the daytime uh, stomata may be opening. <laughs> Sorry. And second influencing factor is decrease of carbon dioxide. Decrease of carbon dioxide in the substomal uh, cavity. Okay, that lead to open the stomata. Okay, that's the second factor. And third factor, internal clock. So we have also one internal clock. So, so we will sleep on 10 p.m. mostly. And uh, get up on 6 or 6.30 in the morning. Okay, this, this is our internal clock. Okay, maybe that is different man to man. Okay. Also, plants have also internal clock. What's the time uh, that stomata is opening? What's the time okay, uh, that the stomata is closing? So that's have the internal clock. So that internal clock also influence the, that stomatal activity. So internal clock is the card cell controlling the uh, daily rhythm of the opening and closing of the stomata. It's the third thing. And finally, we know the uh, thing environmental stresses okay even in the daytime also sometimes stomata is closing no so what's the reason okay high light intensity maybe some stress conditions okay such as a road high temperature okay overwind that uh, that other things cause the stomata close during the daytime okay that is an exceptional case okay so these are the things or that's a small essay uh, this factor influences the stomatal activity. So you will know. Okay, so that is my first expectation. You will concentrate on those things. Okay, so wait a minute. Okay, so, so we will move on second AC. Okay, so sorry. our second AC, okay, the radial transport of plants. Give a brief explanation of the radial transport of the plants. Okay, we will see the scheme. Okay, so first we will identify the what, what are the things in the radial transport of the plants. Okay, so in the radial transport of the plants, Okay, normally that's a uh, epidermis cells. Okay, so that have the root hairs. No, that have some uh, some cells have the uh, root cell, and uh, then uh, next part is a cortex. Okay. Okay, and. Uh, mm, Okay, so first we will uh, we will see about the movement of the radial transport. Okay, so first we will in, in this essay we will mention about the definition of the radial transport. Okay, so what's the radial transport? Transport the water and mineral in the, from the soil to root cortex. Okay, that is a root cortex. Okay, into the xylem. Okay, it's a one wall and there are set xylem and phylum are there here, no? So that is a xylem. Okay, so observing the water and that is transferred through the cortex and move, move through the xylem. Okay, there, that is a radial uh, transport of the water. Okay, transport of the water and minerals enter from the soil to root cortex into the xylem of the root. That is known as the radial transport. In this essay, we will mention uh, first in the 
definitions. Okay, so that that's the important thing is uh, that part. This is called endodermis. Okay, by words clear. Okay, this is the endodermis. This is the endodermis. So this is the endodermis. Okay, so in the radial transport, there is a three pathways. Okay, first one apoplastic route and second one symplastic route and third one transmembrane route. There are some three routes okay used for the radial transport. First we will know the uh, okay transport of each method. So in the apoplastic transport okay so in the apoplastic transport okay sorry okay that water enter through the cell wall and uh, through the that epidermis after that okay that water using the that spaces okay the, otherwise they use the cell wall matrix use the cell wall matrix okay okay they will use the that spaces and cell wall cell wall matrix okay so this type transport is called as the apoplastic route. Okay, this is the easiest way to transport the water and minerals. Okay, this is the easiest way to okay transport the uh, water and minerals. Okay, this is the first one. And second one, okay, that is a symplastic route. Okay, second one, symplastic route. Okay, in the symplastic route, only they will a uh, water enter through the uh, membrane only one time okay only one time they will uh, transfer through the plasma membrane only one time after that okay you uh, they have, to have the plasma desmotas are there between the cells no so using of the plasma desmota using the plasma desmota and uh, water is moved move through the cell Okay, so that is called symplastic route. Okay, that is ca uh, called symplastic route. Only uh, one time uh, membrane. Okay, uh, only only one time this membrane is used to transfer and then uh, using of the plasma desmota and move the water. That is a symplastic pathway. Okay, and finally, okay, Ron's membrane route. Okay, this is a difficult route to transfer the water because okay uh, absorb of, of water and every time okay every time every cell okay uh, that is move through the plasma membrane okay so plasma membrane one of the barriers no so that's why that is a difficult pathway uh, out of three things okay so first one apoplastic apoplastic is a very easiest way to transfer the water because uh, that that extracellular spaces and uh, cell wall metric used for the uh, that transport. So there is somewhat easier easier method. Okay. Then second one is the same. Uh, second one is the same plastic group. Somewhat difficult because one time they will enter through the plasma membrane after the after using of the plasma the desmota and move the water. Okay. That's a Second thing, and finally, that Ron's membrane route is very, very difficult. Okay, so you will read the scheme of uh, this essay. Okay, tomorrow we will continue the uh, this essay. Okay, tomorrow also we have class. Okay, tomorrow we will continue. Tomorrow or oh, Saturday we will continue the the another things. And uh, one more thing, uh, next part of the unit four expectation essay. I will send tomorrow. Okay, you will work hard, study well. Okay, we will meet on Saturday, 7 p.m. Okay, thank you.